tell us a little bit about the, about the Buddy Lab. A Berry Science Lab. Actually, I think it hit the 1 million subscriber mark yesterday, which is, oh, oh. yeah. Thank you. So uh, it was very nice to hear. So essentially, it's just the channel. Originally, it was just for whatever purposes. So it was created after uh, my dad wanted to publish a video of me being interviewed by uh, the vice president of a college in New York City named Medgar Evers College. He was the first person. Uh, I think his name was Dr. Gerald Postman, who heard about my math and physics skill. So he naturally chose to interview me in chemistry. So it was and it was really the thing that first escalated me to, I guess, a, a higher level of fame. Thank you for replacing my microphone. This one is terrible. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, after that, wait, is this one worse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Go for how it. many microphones can you have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yeah. All right. So essentially, that's what first escalated. But uh, we decided, uh, my my dad and my brother, that it would just be fine to put anything on there. It didn't have to be science. But uh, over time, uh, we started developing the model that uh, we uh, had to educate more people about science because we were rapidly finding more and more people were starting to fall behind with it. More and more people were like, Ugh, I hate math or I've never liked math. And I uh, and on the surface, I always say, yeah, that's good. Uh, sometimes math can be hard for some of us. But uh, deep down, I'm like, oh, uh, it's like sad to hear from the heart because I mean, you don't uh, say you're a history professor and then hear people saying, ugh, history is revolting. I hate history. History is not interesting at all. I fall asleep in history class or something like that. So uh, when you hear those kind of comments about math, it kind of hurts a lot more. So uh, as my dad was a physics teacher, he told me about this concept. Uh, he was hearing uh, more and more people say every day, I'm so bored of physics. I hate physics. So we decided to make our channel more focused about spreading physics awareness. And in fact, I started making physics demonstration videos, uh, like uh, live uh, hands-on demonstrations with uh, lab equipment for uh, my dad's class at uh, his uh, my dad's physics class at his high school. So uh, that video. Uh, those videos, uh, along with other videos about math and science, soon attracted the attention. Uh, we were a very small channel at that time, but it soon attracted the attention of Pune University. Uh, I don't know if it's that well known here in Nepal, but it's pretty uh, known across India. So Pune, uh, it's named after, I believe, Savitri Bhai Phule, uh, who was a female educator. A uh, trailblazer for female education, and just like that, I hope to be trailblazer for scientific education. So uh, there, I talked mostly about not just scientific education, but also sp spreading peace and understanding. So after that visit, I started. Uh, I started really. Uh, my channel really started going up the ranks, as they say. So I hit one hundred thousand, and then two hundred thousand then 300,000, and then 400,000 within two months. So it was kind of explosive growth. Eventually, we moved into a new house uh, around November 2020, uh, November 2020. So that allowed us to have an actual recording studio instead of just a whiteboard nailed to the wall in our living room. So uh, th that really uh, showed us uh, the path forward. So now we still have that recording studio open. Uh, we've renovated our basement so that now there are like microphones everywhere. Uh, there's whiteboards, wallpapers, any uh, uh, green screens, anything you can need for uh, some kind of video. So uh, now we're back to usually producing uh, math and science videos. 
Uh, now, whenever I do these kinds of special visits, of course, we also pause the math and science flow for a while so that I can talk about my lectures over here, the people that I meet, because it's kind of a once in a lifetime. Well, it's happened five times in a lifetime now, but <laughs> uh, it's a once in a lifetime experience for me, definitely, uh, to be able to meet each and every one of you. So that's essentially how a Barry Science Lab works. Uh, the kind of content it's been producing and how it first came to, you know, in relevance. Thank you. And you can all subscribe to it on YouTube. <laughs> one, one million subscribers already and some videos have two million views and it's, it's pretty good and it's very up to date. I think that's Kind courtesy of the father. We've already got uh, the post for Nepal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> already put up there. Yes, he stays up late, late every night. Yeah. Like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. sometimes. I tell him, just stop. You can do it in the morning. You have lots of free time. But he has to finish it before midnight. And uh, I don't know why. It's like, the, the uh, I don't know. The video police will come for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs>